Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon How To Guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we're going to be showing you how to find the den where you can catch hidden ability Gale Wings Talonflame. <laughs> Now Talonflame has the hidden ability Gale Wings. Gale Wings is an incredible ability. It gives Talonflame the ability to utilize any of its flying type moves with a priority boost. So when it uses Brave Bird or Max Airstream or Tailwind or anything like that, these moves, if Talonflame's HP bar is full, will get a plus one priority, meaning that Talonflame can go before anything else on the field, ignoring things like Trick Room and Tailwind and other aspects that might affect affect the speed conditions on the field so a very strong ability but you've just got to be careful when you're using Talonflame obviously if its HP is chipped even slightly it will inactivate the ability and it won't be able to use it any longer so you want to make sure that you are protecting Talonflame when you've got it on the field using these and use it early on in the battle as we see a lot of players doing just to get big damage onto the field set conditions up and then support other Pokemon. With the new rule set coming into play on the 1st of July, as I've always been saying within these guides, it's a good time now to get these Pokemon, catch them, train them up, and get them ready for when those rules do drop and these Pokemon are now eligible to be used on the ranked battle system. So, without further ado, my friends, let's hop into our game. Um, there is a few dens you can use in the uh, Isle of Armor wild area to uh, obtain Talonflame. We're just going to stock up on some wishing pieces before we do anything else. Uh, how many do I want? I only need around 10, so we'll just do that. And um, then what we want to do is come over to our map, and I'm going to go to a den that is probably my favorite place to get Talonflame, where I've had a lot of success so far, so hopefully it carries over for you guys. Uh, we're going to the Challenge Road, which is the Tower of Darkness. So you want to just transport yourself up here to the top and come down these stairs and then take a swift left and come up here and you will come to this den right here. And this is where you can catch Talonflame. So it appears in a red beam, uh, so you don't need the rarer purple beam to get Talonflame here. And uh, all we want to be doing is just dropping a wishing piece in. Hopefully it's a, oh, it's a rare beam. Come on, for these guides, we need to uh, we need to have a little bit better luck. We've not had much luck today. So if that happens, or if you get a promoted raid, uh, one of the Zero Aura, or the G-Max Pokemon that are currently running, all you want to do is just come to another den, drop a Wishing Piece into any random den. It is a little bit frustrating because you do end up wasting Wishing Pieces, but it does reset the den that we were currently at, and we can just head back to it. The nice thing about the Isle of Armor as well, there are a lot of dens dotted next to each other when you're or um, hunting certain Pokemon, you can uh, quickly reset the den and come back to it and drop another wishing piece. And uh, would you believe it? Would you believe it? We've got another promoted den. I swear, trying to get these purple beams sometimes is tedious work. It takes absolutely yonk sometimes. I've sat there for up to an hour trying to get a purple den sometimes. And then situations where you don't want one, you get two in a row and I've never, ever, ever, I don't think ever had two in a row, ever, until now. There's something working against us, but we will prevail anyway. Are you joking? <laughs> Three dens. Come on. This is crazy. This is crazy. I can't believe this. So we'll try one more time. They normally say third time lucky, right? But third time unlucky for us. Um... Okay, so we'll throw the wishing piece and we'll try this fourth time lucky uh, and hopefully get this blinking red beam. Come on, this is what we need. All we need is a red beam. And now I'm going to say it, it's going to be a promoted den if we get the red beam. Here it is. Come on, just be just be a talent flame. Okay, so we've got the right beam. That's perfect. So if you come into the beam though and it's not Talonflame or one of the Pokemon that you're looking for, there is just a quick method. Invite others. You don't need to be online for this. Hit your home menu. Come down to system settings. Down to system. Date and time. Just come down to the date. Knock it forward one. It'll uh, take the day forward. Come back into the game. If you quit out of the den like this, it will trick the game into thinking 24 hours have passed and the Pokemon will change to another one it has to be uh, from a 
Wishing piece though, you can't do this with one of the randomly spawned daily dens. Uh, if you use this method, the den will just disappear. So you need to be dropping a wishing piece to make sure that this method is working. Um, but hopefully it won't take us too long to get Talonflame. So we'll be right back when we do have one. So through a number of Datascape glitches, we finally get the Talonflame that we're after. So we'll hop into the Raid Den. Remember that the Talonflame that we're looking for in this den will be a five star and it does have the possibility to have that hidden ability, the Gale Wings. Um, you can use a Trace user as well. So that's a nice thing to use to indicate whether or not the ability is there or not straight away. Uh, you can save before the den, before coming into this battle if you have a Trace user and if it isn't got if it hasn't got the hidden ability then you can just reset the game go back in and then start skipping again but let's hope it has got its gale wings ability and um, it'll be a good indicator to see from this first turn if it uses a flying type attack whether or not it goes first because it shouldn't really outspeed our tyranitar but you never know it might do anyway but uh, the, the more reliable way to tell straight away is obviously with that trace user it will trace the ability from the dynamax pokemon and then obviously you can see whether or not it has got that ability or not okay so the talent flame it, it is gale wings excellent so we have got the hidden ability that's perfect we have got the talent flame now and ready to actually breed hyper train or mint whatever you want but we do have this uh, hidden ability which is the better hidden ability that we have access to on talent flame so my friends that wraps it up i hope you have found this guide useful i hope you have a lot of success in catching talent flame especially with that gale wings if it is a pokemon that you are hunting down and looking to build a team around and uh, we'll we'll leave it there so if you've enjoyed the content do drop a like on the video do subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, i will see you all for another episode guide very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye